Hi, uh, Mike Latham, Latham's Knife Sales. Uh, here to show you some about the Queen Mountain Man Express Auto Knife. Uh, one of the entries that Queen made, it's the final run. They have uh, basically it's made off of the K-Bar Grizzly pattern. Uh, it has a lever that releases the blade. Once you release the blade, once it's put in position, simply press the lever. The knife fires. It's made in uh, Pennsylvania. Unfortunately, Queen went out of production uh, last January, so these are no longer in production. Uh, typically, these originally were selling for around 200, and they've escalated up to about 350 now. Very well made. Uh, one of the good entries of American know-how making a quality knife. If you get an opportunity, purchase one, check them out. Nice what knives. Kind of, what kind of handle they come in? Uh, they made multiple uh, handle materials. This is a natural stag deer antler. They have a ram's horn. They use wood. Uh, all natural materials. Uh, they have a bone that's jigged. Uh, they made a, a approximately 10 or 12 different handle materials. Uh, they use di three different blade designs. They have a straight blade. They have a clip blade. Uh, they also have a worn cliff blade. That's not at this, at, I don't have in this showcase. They also use the Damascus steel blade and the other blades are carbon steel. Very easy to sharpen. Uh, good, good quality steel. They're made under the Stratton Morgan stamp, which is a Queen Knife Company brand that they stamped under. It was the high-end brand. You can buy Stratton Morgan pocket knives, um, all sizes and shapes, but uh, the autos really kicked it off. And what else, what other kind of knives you like to play? Well, we have uh, any vintage knife, actually. The American brands that were vintage, turn of the century, uh, K-Bar, Case. Uh, I like the any of the old automatics that were made um, prior to 57. Uh, you've got a lot of the American companies that were made for contract. A lot of the military uh, used the paratrooper used a lot of the automatic knives so that they could uh, easily open them and, and get free if something happened. So there was a lot of military contract knives for uh, that purpose. You can go back to World War II with those. And German, any of the German auto knives are well made, excellent knives. So I really don't have a favorite. What about the German auto? The Germans, uh, actually, the, the pattern that you see mostly is a lever Auto uh, is actually was designed by an American, George Charade, went over uh, in the early 20s and helped develop the design of the German knife. When Hitler took over, they um, basically confiscated all of that and uh, George Charade came back to America and continued to produce American knives. Then after the war, the Germans just continued to produce uh, the lever knife that, that was uh, so popular. Uh, they're still being produced in Germany under Hubertus, and they're high quality. They use all natural materials, heavy made, um, very, very, very good knives. Uh, Hubertus is a very well established old company, still producing good quality knives. Okay, terrific. Thanks a lot. All right, no problem.